Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating two possible ways to delete user accounts from Windows 10 computers. This could come in handy in situations where you no longer need such user accounts and you don't want to constantly have to go through this account selection screen each time you get your login screen. This is also a way to free up some disk space because when you delete a user account, Windows will automatically delete all that are associated with such user account which obviously implies that if you still need the files and folders associated to any of the accounts you intend to delete, then you first need to back up such files and folders before proceeding with this process. I will show you how to quickly do that in a moment. So here, as you can see, I have three user accounts, EasyText, User1 and User2. I'll be deleting the User1 and User2 accounts using the first and second methods respectively. Now, obviously, deleting a user account is an administrative process. As such, you will need to have access to an administrative account on the computer to be able to complete this process. Here, the EasyText account is an admin account, so I will use it to delete the other two accounts. Before that, here is how to quickly back up files and folders from any user account before deleting such account. First, open your file explorer. Then, this PC. Open your local disk, usually it's the drive C. Open users. And here you should have the folders for each user account you currently have on the computer. Simply open each folder. And that should grant you access to the user directory. So you can copy out any files or folders associated to that user account. With that, the first method would be through the Windows settings. Here, I'll be deleting the user one account. To do that from the start menu, click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. On the settings page, click on accounts. In the account settings page, click on family and other users. And here under other users, you should see the user accounts on your computer other than the account you are currently signed into. So here I have the user1 and user2 accounts. To delete the user1 account, I will first click on it to have it selected. Then click on the remove button. And that should pop up a blue dialog box like this asking if you want to delete the account and data. It further reminds you that deleting this account will remove all data associated with the account. This includes all files and folders. So again, if you still need any of such files or folders, ensure you first make a backup before proceeding with this process. Here, I'll click on delete account and data. And that should immediately start deleting the selected user account. Now, the time required to complete this process depends on the amount of data associated to the particular user account. Afterwards, you should observe that the user account is no longer listed under the other user section. So with that, I have successfully deleted the user one account. The second method will be through the command line interface. This could be a little bit faster if you have several user accounts to delete. For this, again, you need to be logged into an admin account. Then go to Windows search and type CMD. Then from the search result, right click on the command prompt app and select run as administrator. Hit yes on the user account control. And then you should have this command line terminal pop up. Here you want to first check to see what user accounts you currently have on your computer. To do that, type in net space user as shown on the screen and hit enter. And here as you can see, I have EasyText and the user2 accounts currently on the computer. To delete the user2 account, I will type in net space user space user2 where user2 is the name of the user I want to delete space forward slash delete as shown on the screen now before you hit enter please know that the command line method does not ask for additional verification before deleting a user account unlike we saw in the initial method here as soon as i hit enter the user account together with all associated files and folders will be deleted automatically so do ensure you have your backups if necessary then come back here type in the above command and hit enter to delete the intended account Afterwards, type in net space user once again and press enter to confirm that the user account has been deleted. And here, as you can see, I no longer have the user2 account on the list. 
So with that, I have successfully deleted the user to account together with all associated files and folders. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.